Good afternoon, guys. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, NMAP basic uh, pore scans. That is part of the junior penetration testing um, path from TriHackMe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Mm. So this room is the second uh, in the N uh, NMAP series. Uh, we have the live host discovery that I just made uh, about a few, few days ago. I'll be working on pore scan today and then the next couple of days, I will be working on the advanced pore scan and the post pore scans. Uh, so, in, we use NMAP to enumerate targets, discover live host, and then reverse uh, DNS lookup. Uh, we'll be using NMAP uh, uh, using the TCP Connect port scan, uh, TCP SY, uh, the SYN, SYN port scan, that is the signalization, and then the UDP port scan. And, um, we will get the launch the attack box by using the start box attack box button, and you will la uh, launch different types of scans. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this one. So it's a lot of reading this room, and I don't think it's a lot of hands-on experience. I mean, like technical things that we will be doing. Um, so I probably wouldn't like read word to word, but if you guys need a, mi a minute, just pause this video and then go over the notes. So uh, there's like type of filters that we use. So in particular, uh, in practical situations, we need to consider the impact of firewalls. Um, but a firewall might be blocking the uh, packets. Therefore, NMAP considers the following six states. There are six states that we should be focusing. They're the open. Uh, state where it indicates that the service is listening on this uh, specified port. There's a closed one where you don't have no service. There's a filter one. That means the NMAP cannot determine if the port is open or closed. Uh, there's unfiltered one. That is that when the NMAP cannot determine if the port is open or closed, but the port is ac accessible on unfiltered, and then the port is not accessible on filtered. And then it says open or, or filtered. This means that NMAP cannot determine whether the port is open or filtered. And then closed or filtered. This means that NMAP cannot decide whether the port is closed or filtered. So which service uses UDP port 53 by default? Uh, we require external research. Let's go ahead and use UDP port 53. Um, you can just search it for on YouTube. Uh, DNS, that is the domain naming service, I think. Uh, okay, we can go ahead and answer that. Which service t uh, uses TCP port 22 by default? That is SSH. Uh, states does NMAP consider. What does that mean? How many port states does NMAP? Oh, six. Because right here, it'll be listed here. Which port state is the most interesting to discover as a pen tester? Uh, probably the open one. Because if a port is open, then uh, what does that mean? Then the server is listening on that specified port. Then we could use that to enumerate. So, read through this with the TCP flags. Uh, the TCP header kind of goes like this. We have about 32 bytes. a bit? No byte. Okay, 32 bits. Uh, and then four bytes allocated with the six ROS total, making up 24 bits. Bytes, urges the urgent flag indicates that the urgent pointer field is significant. Uh, and acknowledgement flag indicates that the acknowledgement number is significant. It is used to acknowledge the recipient of a TCP segment. Um, looks a little complicated, but um, you, I'm, I don't know. I, I feel like it's, it's good to kind of know the ins and out to understand more and to navigate through NMAP and use it accordingly. So I suggest you guys to uh, read through the whole thing. So what three letters represent the reset flag? Obviously, that's the RST given right here. And which flag needs to be set when you initiate the TCP connection? First packet of uh, TCP three-way handshake. That is the signalization because right here, initiate the TC uh, TCP three-way handshake. So that's definitely the same. And then... We are TCP connect scan. Uh, let's go ahead and start our machine. Uh, TCP connect scan works by completing the three-way handshake. Uh, that is where the um, 
our well, our PC or machine uh, sends the synchronization packet, and then our target sends back with send and acknowledgement, and then our TC uh, our PC sends back another acknowledgement, and then our three handshake is completed, and now we are connected with the target machine. And that's pretty much the TCP connect scan. I mean the TCP three way handshake. Uh, that is only if the port is open. Um, we are learning. We are interested in learning whether the TCP port is open, uh, and then not establishing a TCP connection. Hence, the connection is torn as, as soon as the state is confirmed by sending a reset attack. I mean, acknowledgement, R RST and ACK. That is the acknowledgement, and uh, you can choose to run TCP connect scan using the attack ST to run the connect scan. And then it will send a reset acknowledgement, which will disconnect it right away. So right here, uh, as soon as I uh, put the port 143, uh, we send the signalization. And then our target machine sends back the send acknowledgement. And then we send back the acknowledgement. And then we send back another reset acknowledgement. So we won't be disconnected. We won't be connected with the uh, target machine since we just wanted to find out if the port is open or not. So to illustrate the uh, attack SD with TCP connect scan, the following command example returned a detailed list of uh, open port. Uh, as soon as you put the nmap attack ST, the target machine, in our case 109.245, then it will scan it and gives you back uh, the open ports um, as shown below. So we can use TAC F to, en to enable pass mode and decrease the number of scan ports from 1,000 to 100 most common ports. Uh, this is actually good if, if it's um, if you run in well, you, if you are in a rush. And it is worth mentioning that the TAC R option can also be added to scan ports in consecutive order instead of in random order. I'm not sure how that will help. Maybe it will um, save you some time. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what it is. So I'll launch the virtual machine, open the attack box, and execute nmap or attack ST, the given code. Um, and boom. Oh, that was actually fast. We didn't even use the attack F syntax to make it faster. But we have the port 22, 25, 80, 110, 111, 143. Those are the open services that we have. And let's go ahead and answer the question. A new service has been installed in this virtual machine since our last scan. Which port number was closed in the scan above, but does not open the target virtual machine? Uh, we have 22, 25, 80, uh, 111, 143 on the given machine. We have 143. I don't think we have 143 here. Okay, we do have 143. So what else? 143 and 111. 143, 111. Okay, 110. We don't have 110. We don't have 110. What the heck? Yeah, 110. And then what is Nmap's guess uh, about the newly installed service? Uh, the 110 is POP3. I think that is the email. Uh, what was it? I forgot. And then task five is um, task five. Task five is the TCP send scan. Earlier it was the TCP uh, three-way handshake to send tag ST scan. And then right now it is the send scan. Uh, we need to start this machine, so let's terminate the current one and then. Deploy the the new one, the new machine, and then this one talks about the sync scan, uh, which is the tag SS. Uh, you can run it by just typing nmap tag SS target, and it will send the signalization packet, and then the target will send back the acknowledgement and the signalization with the acknowledgement, and our target machine will send the reset instead of. Um, the acknowledgement uh, as earlier. So that's pretty much where it is. When you connect it, it would be like this. So when you just filter the port 81 right here, this right here, synchronization, 
this is what a machine would be sending to the pack uh, to the target machine, and the target machine sends back the synchronization and the acknowledgement, and then our machine would send to the target the reset packet. Uh, so with the default scan mode, we can run sudo and map attack ss 1010 That's the uh, IP address that is given right now. So, and then we will have some of the ports, uh, the open ports we have in the services. So we can launch the virtual machines and some new service software has been installed since the last time we scanned it. So in the attack box, use the terminal to execute and map attack SS. Well, let's get, go ahead and uh, scan that and then see what's the difference between this one and the uh, current deployed machine. Uh, my microphone right in front of me. Shouldn't take more than, yeah, it shouldn't even take more than two seconds. We have the 22 uh, port 25, 80, 110, 111, 143, and 6667. That is the IR, IRC. I have no, I'm not sure what the IRC stands for. We're going to have to Google that. The new open port is 6667, right? And then what's the Nmap's guess for the service name? The uh, that is the IRR with a C. Uh, and then the other one is the UDP scan. We can terminate this one right here and start our machine. Uh, the UDP is a connectionless protocol, and hence it does not require any handshake for connection. So our target machine just sends out the um, UDP packet and it doesn't for, uh, expect any response. Uh, we use TAC-SU to run the UDP scan. So NMAP, TAC-SU, and then the target, the target would be the IP address given. And however, uh, as shown in the figure, uh, figure below, we expect to get an ICMP packet of type three, destination unreachable and code three port unreachable. In other words, the UDP port that, that does not generate any response are the ones that NMAP will state as open. Uh, so if it does not generate, that means it's open. If it generates and tells us that it's closed, then it's pretty much it's closed. So we will send a UDP packet, and if we get a code back, then the port is closed. And then it, it would, this leads to ICMP, destination unreachable, as shown given over here. Uh, we have the UDP protocol. And then for all these, we get the ICMP protocol back uh, telling us that the destination is unreachable. So we could conclude that these are uh, closed. And then the rest of the ports are open if we don't get any answer from those ports. Uh, that's kind of what the idea is. So for UDP, uh, to run the UDP, NMAP UDP, all you have to do is sudo NMAP tag SU and then the target machine. So launch the... Um, a uh, virtual machine on the attack box, use the terminal to execute and map tag SU. The F, tag F um, syntax is, is just to make it faster. Post that, we're using tag SU for UDP, uh, UDP port scan. Mm, tag F to make it faster. Verbose will gives us the detailed information. Well, okay, we do have uh, 50 UDP port scan 53. Mm. So, uh, looking at the result, we have about three uh, open ports. Uh, 111 UDP is the new one I, I'm seeing comparing to what we have right here. Okay, 111 is here, 68 is here. Probably 50, okay, 53 UDP is not on the list, and that's the new uh, one. What is the service name according to NMAP? Uh, the service is the service is domain. The service name is domain. Go ahead and answer that. And we are bad. We are on task four. I mean task seven. Uh, Fine-tuning scope and performance uh, for port list, we could use tag P and then the list of the port. Uh, for port range, we could just put tag P1 up to 20, 
you know, 1023 with uh, scan about 1,023 uh, scans. If you put 20 to 25, it will uh, scan port between 20 to 25 inclusive. Mm, if you use um, time using like TAC T in between 0 to 5, if you use TAC T0, that's paranoid and it was, uh, it's the slowest uh, scan. And TAC1, uh, TAC T1 will be sneaky. T2, it will be polite. 3 is normal, 4 is aggressive, and 5 is insane. Uh, moreover, you can control probing paralyzation using min paralyzation. As shown below right here, uh, using the min parallelism equals 512, push and map to maintain at least 512 probes in parallel. Um, so with, what is the uh, option to scan all the TCP port between 5,000 to 5,500? That would be... Uh, TAC P, 5,000 to 5,500. And then how can you ensure that NMAP will run at least 64 probes in parallel? Uh, you can just put this right here. And 64 parallelism, that's what we need. What option would you add to make NMAP very slow and paranoid? Right here as given, we can use T0 is the slowest and paranoid. So it would be TAC T0. And just like that, we are done with the, um, what room is this? And my basic port scan. Uh, for TCP uh, connect scan, you run TAC ST. For send scan, you use TAC SS. For UDP scan, you run TAC SU. Uh, these scans should get you started discovering running TCP and UDP scan. Uh, TAC P, TAC will scan all ports, and this will probably would take a minute. TAC P1 to 23, it will scan port 1 to 1023. TAC F to make a fast uh, by just scanning the 100 most common ports. TAC R, scan, scan ports in consecutive order. The This one right here is T0 being the slowest and T5 being the fastest. The fastest is probably you will get detected using the TAC uh, T5. The minimum rate and the maximum rate, uh, that is just using the packets per second to how many packets to send. And the minimum parallelism is where you use the probes, how many probes you um, to use in parallel. Um, it gets a little complicated to you know, to kind of understand every single detail. But for as a junior penetration tester, that's all you need to know to get you started. And that's pretty much what the uh, this room is about. That is the basic port scan. And we are done just like that.